Hello, coming to you today from eminiprofiledaytrading.wordpress.com and today is November 21st, 2010. So it's the first post that I have made for this blog for a very long time and I'm doing it for a specific reason. Uh, you will see throughout the blog all the free videos and posts uh, for trading are all focusing on the ES mini <laughs> so it's called e mini value profile but we're going to we're going to make a shift now and start looking at the euro futures using some of the ideas on the uh, e mini profile day trading blog but now we're looking at the euro so there are also going to be some changes in focus uh, because what has happened in my own life is in 2000 and uh, 10, I shifted after 20 years of trading the S&P and the E-minis over to the euro because I found it's a much better day trading market now. The E-minis went through a big change uh, after the, the big crash and then the, the low was put in in March. The Fed started manipulating uh, the market itself and the interest rates. Volumes dropped to less than half of what it was during 2008, which was the best year trading that I day trading I ever had up until that time. And looking at the shrinking range each day, I went over and looked at the euro and found it's usually anywhere from two to three times minimum the dollar range during the day, uh, 12.50 a tick and 10 ticks uh, and 100 ticks being $1,250 compared to the mini being $500. So, and the e-mini having a range these days frequently of six to ten points, uh, which is pathetic, three to five hundred dollars on the same day. The euro will be having a fifteen hundred or two thousand dollar range day. So, we're going to we're going to look at the euro, and I'm going to share some of my ideas with you. And right away, uh, the market profile. I'm looking at Friday here. Uh, this was Friday on the 19th. Uh, so we're, we're on the weekend right before Thanksgiving here, and uh, I'm going to look at a, a couple of things and share some ideas with you, and uh, you can just see Friday, right? pick it up right where we left off. Uh, the low of the day was uh, to the tick on the point of control there at uh, 10.30 Central Time, right on the uh, market profile, uh, a little bit of a volume bulge there. Uh, and this is uh, what I'm using on the left here is uh, about f uh, five days uh, of prior trading uh, where the volume peaks and the lesser volume areas are. And the low came in on this day right about there, which happened to be the point of control uh, from the previous day's trading. So. It works here too, but what I find with the euro, there are a lot of other things, other, other techniques which are also very simple and uh, perhaps more common. We'll look at the Fibonacci retracements combining with the market uh, profile levels, value area high and low and point of control, and uh, then in combination with the current day's volume, uh, we can we can use this information. And I want to share a couple of very simple common trading techniques. We'll even look how we might use a stochastic, for example, to get confluences and approach this market differently because it, it just does this so consistently of respecting Fibonacci levels or uh, consistently moving off of them in response when it's a confluence. And we'll also look at some projections. Uh, because the Fibonacci projections can also be very effective with this market. So, to go back uh, to the day before uh, Friday, on Thursday, we take a low from here and we make the, uh, and all these tools, by the way, the other thing I'm going to emphasize in this, in, the, in this video and perhaps some others that follow is how to use NinjaTrader because uh, in the past couple of years I've gotten a lot of inquiries from people about, gee, profiles so complicated and how do I get the software and things got too complicated in my opinion because I feel that really the things that we use in market profile can be so simple and NinjaTrader is a very, very easy to use software which is free 
and uh, you just right click on the screen and you get all your indicators and uh, one of them that I use is the MP levels uh, which gives you the MP levels and you can set it up for uh, whatever starting and ending point you like and I on the euro it's doing a lot of trading in the European session uh, between 2 and uh, between 2 and 11 let's say central time uh, and it goes up later than that as well so so what I find works best for me the way I would like to read it is to just use the 24-hour market profile which is a twist and uh, like it did on this day it can it can be very predictive now a lot of times with the euro you get big moves that's why it's such a great uh, day trading market so another common pattern will be as we saw on Thursday when you get a big move and it's uh, by the time you come in to United States trading either let's say 8:30 central time or 9:30 eastern time uh, you've already got a lot of conviction in the market from the European trading, and then what's going to happen in the American session is just a retracement for a really clean setup. And this is what I'm, I'm showing you right here. So uh, we had a lot of volume here, and it was building up, and they wanted to give it a rotation. And we have a simple uh, stochastic double divergence here, which is a piece of cake to read on a 15-minute chart, so you had a lot of time uh, from 9.30 to uh, 10.30 to read it. And there you are at a perfect 38% retracement of the low from uh, Wednesday trading before that Thursday session. So uh, the, the, uh, the, the retracement was right into, I draw a little box, uh, two ticks below and two ticks above the uh, each the 38%. If it gets down to the 50, I'll do it there. If it gets down to the 62%, I'll do it there. And uh, sure enough, this was a perfect setup. Now, what I like to look at there is you can you can look at your profile uh, on a on a you know bar by bar basis if you want. But what you'll find often is how easy it is to just draw, go, look back to the left on the chart when you're getting down to an area like a fib and you're saying this market's really strong, it seems to be basing there at the FIB, the stochastic's very clear, and I'm well above the profile, it doesn't look like they feel the need to get down there, they've given it their shot in the first uh, three hours of the highest uh, volume of trading in the United States, and uh, you look to the left and you find that there was a rotation there that you could draw a box around the bodies of those candles, leave out the extremes. Basically, we're just doing an eyeball of profile based on time, price, opportunity, TPOs. And you have a red box there uh, uh, along with uh, your 38% retracement. So that's how I can use market profile in a very, very easy, accessible, whatever charting package you have. And it's, it's, uh, this is how I find the euro and probably it'll work as well for even the spot forex, uh, you know, version of this to a certain extent. And uh, the 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 Fibonacci levels and the combination of uh, of simple stochastic, uh, knowing what the market's doing in context of the market profile, makes this very easy to I think to to gain an understanding of how it works and to be doing it in real time. Now, uh, I like these just the two moving averages. If we can, we can always uh, look at a 50 period and a, whatever, 13 period, or if you like, 24. But I use the 13 period with a Keltner to help me see when volatility is strong. You know, volume and volatility are going to go hand in hand. As, as the buyers dominate, then volatility will increase because uh, the sellers are capitulating on this big breakout. So buying the dips is the other thing we can always do, and we can always do that with Fibonacci's and Confluence, uh, knowing uh, where the volume is. And we can use our Delta tools, which uh, we will look at that maybe in later video or posts or whatever, but you, there's so many examples you can take from the e-mini uh, section that has gone before. It's the same idea. We see we see the delta. 
when the buyers start coming in, it's usually apparent. If I go down to a lower time frame, uh, this is the 15-minute chart. But when I see an indication, maybe Delta uh, has peaked out here and the buying comes in, or maybe it peaked out here or here, and then it's uh, it's starting to sh shift here. The usual that we you can see in many videos uh, of the earlier videos on the block. 